Hello turkeys. How are you guys this morning? So I'm a little bit nervous this morning. Well, for one thing, I'm keeping an eye on my on the turkey there. But that's not what I'm nervous about. I just checked the weather and they are predicting an ice storm for us. And from what it sounds like, it could turn out to be quite a doozy. They're predicting anywhere from a half an inch to an inch and a half of ice. And uh, that's just a nightmare. Now for us having that much ice, that is just a nightmare. Because it doesn't take much for our electricity to go out. Thanksgiving before this last one, we had a small, I call it a mini ice storm, and we lost power for about 24 hours. And let me tell you, it was tough because our house is all electric. You know, we did have the fireplace to keep warm, but that only kept us warm for so long and the house just slowly got colder and colder and colder. See, the power went out the um, Thanksgiving evening and by the end of the next evening, it was so cold in our house that we finally gave up and we went over to my mom's because she's got a propane stove over there. And we moved all of our pets and everything over there. And just when we got all moved over there and settled, the power came back on again. So we ended up moving everything back over again. But that was just 24 hours and I was almost going nuts. Now, a few years ago, my mom said that they had a bad ice storm. This was before we moved here. And they were out of power for five days. I couldn't imagine being out of power for five days trying to take care of all these animals because you know we won't have water everything will freeze up our house will be frozen so we'll have to stay over at my mom's and it'll just be a mess I mean we are so unprepared for something like this and there's really no way to get prepared for it unless we you know figure out a way to um, like get a generator or something and we just haven't been able to do that so it'll be interesting I'm just hoping that their predictions are all wrong and then it ends up not being as bad as they think it's gonna be They're getting a little bit better about get coming out here. There's still a nice bunch of them up there at the barn that aren't going to come out here though. There's a hen right there in the goat shelter looking for a spot to lay her eggs. So I'm going to have to remember to check there for eggs later on. Hey Nibbles, how are you? Huh? You chew on my nibble on my glove. Live up to your name, nibbles. Ouch! That was my finger you got. Now, if 
few years ago we did have a blizzard and it was a big mess. We had way more goats than what we do now and it was like our second winter of homesteading and we had the goats way out yonder as Miley would say. It was back behind the barn in that shelter out there because that's where we have our pig pen and we had two pigs out there and we put all of our animals out there because um, we needed to have water for the pigs and we needed to keep it thawed out and it was the only way that we could do it because we could only run one de-icer in one shot. So we just put all the animals out there next to the water and so I always had to go out there, clear out there every day to feed the animals and for the most part it was fine you know we had a pretty we had a fairly mild winter that year but then we had this huge blizzard that came in and um it was so bad that i couldn't even get out there to the animals so luckily dylan was off because he couldn't get to town to work so he spent all day out on the tractor scooping snow and everything and making a path out there it was just a big mess because we didn't have a really good setup for our pigs' water. And we didn't have any way of having an automatic water out there that wouldn't freeze. So every day I had to go out there and give them water twice or three times a day. And so through that period, you know, I was having to run out there all the time. Well, the walkway would blow shut through the day. And so Dylan would have to go out there and open it up for me so I could go out there and give the pigs and the goats, make sure the goats had water and all that stuff. And so after that year, I was like, forget it. From then on, we downsize our animals big time by the time fall hits. So that way we have the bare minimum to take care of. And since then, we have moved the goats back up here. We don't have pigs through the winter. We only have pigs spring through the fall. So that way, when we put them out there, you know, the weather will be nicer and we won't have to worry about frozen water and all of that stuff. So my plan to prepare for this ice storm is to run to town and get stocked up on our supplies today. And then tomorrow I'm just going to make sure that every all the animals have enough bedding and um, I'll throw in extra hay for the goats and stuff like that. And that will probably be about as prepared as we can be. Luckily, Michael will probably be off through most of the storm, so he will be around to kind of help me with the water situation and all of that. And hopefully we can just keep the ice broke and um, have enough water for everybody. I'm just hoping that we get do all the, this preparation for it and then it ends up being nothing. That would be really amazing. 